I'm just Vosco and this is just cities skylines now as you can see the city's getting a quite nice view look I really like how it's all flowing together you've got all the old sort of um, terraced housing you've got a few modern bits popping out on the outskirts um, because they don't knock the terrace housing down they just build around it so you end up with these little groups of things going on around the outsides um, now today I really want to fill this area in here uh, we'll continue the beach along the front um, and get the trams running all the way down here so hopefully more people will use the trams and hopefully if we look at our population we're at 33791 going up um, we can unlock another tile and as I've always said the plan is to unlock a tile over here so we can get a village stroke town in and a never eventually a never join from the motorway because at the minute everything is coming off the motorway and running down this road here and going where it wants to go and as you can see why are they changing lanes there no 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 why are you changing lanes no i'm sorry but this one is to go there this one is to go there and this one is to go there you want to change lanes get in lane further back there we go so that should stop all that and i'm not allowing you to change there either actually uh, there is a button i can press to do this but i don't actually know what it is get in lane properly there we go so hopefully that'll stop some of the issues building up there the roundabouts are really busy and that is just because these roundabouts are handling everything that's coming into the city so if you want to come into here you're going to get onto this roundabout if you want to come into the main city you're going to get onto this roundabout now this roundabout is massively busy but it is still flowing and that's the main thing these this is the only roundabout i've ever put traffic lights on but it works it clears this through quickly and then it lets those go see they're building up and once the traffic lights change they all go lovely perfect it works so well um and then this there's another roundabout getting quite busy now which is this one which again is linking everything from the motorway through here so having another motorway junction coming through this way would be really handy but for the time being we're just going to get on with this bit <coughs> Now, I'm going to quickly go into a time lapse and get the majority of the, the terrain in that built up, and then I'll be back. Um, so I'll talk to you shortly.
And there we have it. We have a nice beachfront road there. We've uh, called this area Seashell Beach. If you can think of a better name, please let me know. Uh, I've put a few things in here just to get the feel for the area. We've got some hotels and things. This is going to be a very tourist area, which hopefully will help with the tram system. And that over here, we've got a few offices and housing and a little Costa bar there. I'm really liking this little area here. I think that looks lovely. Trams are becoming really popular now. People weren't really using the trams. Oh, yeah, that's a great place. Walk in front of the trams, people. Walk in front of the trams. Uh, okay, so let's go and have a look over here. And with this being a tourist area and the, the zoo being here, I think that'll fit in really nicely together. Uh, we need to get some back roads and things in here. So let's go with one of those. Um, we're going to go along there. Oh, no. See, that's going to go up that hill, isn't it? So if we get rid of that, like that. Um, I tell you what, we could go around the hill like that. Yes, that might work. That looks a bit rough at the minute, but let's have a jig around with it. You go around right there. You go around there. You come around there. Yeah, that's better. And then we can come down here or not. Can we lower that? I think we should should lower this slightly. Like that. And I'll lower that one as well. And then we can bring that road along here. Like so. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't like it, but tough people. This is where we're living now. This is what's happening. You can't have green fields behind you forever. Right, we just got to make sure that stays as a block of four, which it is. Excellent. Um, now we can bring this road, I'm going to say in there like that. And then off of here, we can have smaller roads, which are just sort of dead end roads. Like so. And that fills in that area lovely. We could probably bring one. No. Hmm. Go on to the ground. Um, I bet we could probably just bring a dead end Cody sack from here to there. Yeah, that will work. Um, and now along here we can have. Oh, we could have a one way road. If we go from here. All the way along to there. That'll fill that area in nicely and give us that sort of one-way system. Although, why is it done that? Is that because the ground is too high on that side? So, all right, we, we can deal with that. We can bring this up slightly. Just slightly like that. And do you know what? That, that's not going to be too bad. So, I'm guessing that... No, that hasn't fixed the issue with the... Zone in on that side. Why not? Hmm. I want zoning on that side, please. Okay, bring you up a bit more. I don't mind if I lose the zoning on the other side, in all fairness. I just want my zoning on that side. How's that doing? That's not doing anything. Hmm. Well, I don't like that. Um, let's try from the middle, shall we? Straight line, please. Thank you. We're still doing it. Oh, well. It, it'll sort itself out. Uh, that's going to there. These need to flip round the other way. To there. Excellent. Lovely. So that'll fill in this area really nicely. How are we doing for water in this area? Not bad, actually. We just need a little bit down that road there. And that's it. We're covered. Excellent. So let's get some bits and pieces in. Fill it up. Um, this is a zoo, isn't it? So I think this needs to be quite um, touristy. So let's get that in there. We can get some, some bigger housing in around here between the... You know, yeah, but sort of have touristy things and housing and hotels and everything mixed in together. Uh, we could probably get a couple of offices in there. 
Um, housing there. People, these people, I feel sorry for them. This is just going to be a really high-rise area, and they're going to be like, oh, no, we had this lovely house. Yeah, too bad. That can go there. We can get some more touristy things along the front. Definitely touristy things along the front. Uh, off the side roads there like that. I think this is going to be housing in the middle here. I might get a few tourist attractions in, but I want a nice mix of things. I may even put a few offices along the front, just to break it up a bit. Um, along the back, we can have housing on that side there, there, there. Do you know, we can make all that housing in all fairness. There, there, there. Like so. Um, and I'm going to go touristy there as well. So let's see what that looks like when it builds up. We could do with a few trees and things just dotted around in here. Um, brush size, can I make that bigger? Thanks. Get some of these smaller things in. That's it. Lovely. Uh, we'll get some in and then hopefully some will stay. Let's have a look. Smaller things, bigger things. I don't want huge amounts of trees, but some trees would be nice. There we go. Get some of those in there like that. Mix it up a bit. Uh, some smaller things in there. There we go. Lovely. And this area is really booming. Look at these buildings. This is proper hotels. The hotels really want to be in this area, which is nice. Um, so let's have a look. We've actually got some sort of skyline going on. I like it. Um, yes. So what have we got? We've got like a taller area here and one along the front. If we need more tourism and things like that, we've definitely fulfilled housing. Um, and we've definitely fulfilled commercial. We've got a huge demand for industrial. But this is definitely not the area for that. I'm really hoping this brings some life to this part of the city. It is going to bring some traffic to this part of the city, but we do have plenty of bus routes and tram lanes and things like that. We could even take a tram route up this main road here. That's not a bad idea, actually. Not bad at all. What's going on here? Oh, you're just picking people up and dropping people off. How many people are going to get off you? No one? You've got no one on you? No, no passengers. No passengers. You've got 27 and you've just left the depot, as it were. It annoys me they can't go into the depot to turn around. Do you think they would be able to do that? But apparently not. Um, yeah, so the water company has uh, sowed a bit of land to uh, the depot people so they could build one this end as well. And that's how it's worked. But I do really like the idea of getting a tram up there. Because we can have tram roads, right? So if I go to tram... Yes, see, there we go, look. Tram roads. Now, I'm guessing these are massive roads, aren't they? That's going to have to destroy all of that. We just want a little... What have we got? Two lanes. So if we can have a two-lane and a tram road... What's that? Four lanes. No, that's... So we've got... Two-lane road with dedicated trams. It would get rid of the bus route on it, but... That, Oh, it's going to knock everything down. Ooh, ooh, we won a sports trophy. Yay! Um, students, plus 230, which is lovely. That's what we like to see. Let's see what that road looks like. That's got a dedicated tram route, right? Yeah, running down the middle and cycle lanes. Oh, I like that. Let's get that in all the way up here. Look at that. We're demolishing the whole area, but it will be worth it. I don't know what I'm going to do past that roundabout. Oh, and look, it paints the, the bus stop in as well. That's really nice. I like that road. It's a very not British road, but... Can I do that? And that? Yeah, sorry, hotels. Change of plan. Hmm... Oh, actually, not change of plan. Go back to how we were. Where's that bus road gone? Hmm, that one maybe? Oh yeah, I like that with the green. 
Oh no, why have you done... I don't know. I quite like that with the plants on it. Again, it's not very British. Oh, maybe just up to this point? Hmm. Why is that not zoned? Let's go back to zone in a second. I'm going to leave that and decide which one I prefer. I just think that's very brightly painted. And I just like the idea of the plants and the greenery running along it in all fairness. So, here we need to get the trams down. So, let's go to tram lines. Can we put tram lines on the road? I'm guessing we can. Where's the trams gone? There they are. Um, and... No, no, undo. Oh my god, there is no undo button. La la la. Which one do we use? That one. Yes, okay, that's fine. Let's, let's get off of that and let's try and bring some trams down this way somehow. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? I want one where... Uh, unless... Unless we make that one part of this road. And then we can try and connect, he says, tram tracks. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, why are you going to go into a bridge? I don't want you in a bridge. I wanted a separate tram. I didn't want them on the road. Hmm. There's a bit of a weird bump there. You carry on, peeps. I'm just having a play around. How am I going to get the trams on, to, on and off that road? However we do it is not going to work. Unless we bring it down to this junction and go up like that. That might work. Let's give that a go. Um, wait, where's the that one we want? Then we're going to go that. Yes, that does work. Okay, we're just going to have to ignore the fact this is not a British road for the time being. And that'll go off up that way and we'll get trams all the way up. Yes, beautiful. Love it. That's what we're going with. For the time being, anyway. So now we just need to wait for it all to rebuild. Look at some of these buildings. That's so cool. Uh, we do have this area, which is the zoo. I wonder if we've got anything unlocked with the zoo yet. Uh, let's go and have a look. Oh, yeah. I think we've got loads of things, actually. Sea life enclosure. Elephant enclosure. That's going to be massive, though, isn't it? Yeah, we, we, we've only got room for small enclosures now. Flamingo enclosure. That might work. That might work very much so. What's this one? Insect. I've put that one down there, right? Bison. We've got that. Hmm. Wouldn't it be nice to get an elephant enclosure in there? But I don't think I can do it. I think it's very much just going to have to be... A flamingo one. Does that work? Yes, and then we can bring the path down. So if I go to paths. And we want the zoo path. Is that you? No, your park. Zoo. Zoo path. There we go. We can bring that one and put a bend on it. Down that way. Just like that. Lovely. Um, we could probably put a cafe over here as well. Because there's one at the beginning of the zoo. What if we have one over this way? So let's go to here and go to zoo. What have we got? We've got restrooms. I think those are probably important. We could put those there. Souvenir shop. Again, that's probably something we can get in there. And a zoo cafe. I think that should sit down there. Now all we need is to get some trees and things in. And our little... It is a little zoo. I'm not... I, I 
it's not the main zoo we could have a bigger zoo outside of town or something like that this is very much the original city zoo that they've built around and there's no way of expanding it so they've just uh, sort of kept it up to date and it's quite popular because it's location but we could go for like a proper safari park zoo or something on the outskirts of one of the towns or in a different town because there is definitely going to be more than one uh city in this area because we've got all this wait let me go to map we've got a very large map to fill so yes we could have a bigger better zoo somewhere else how close are we to our target three five one oh oh wait it's that one isn't it we want three six oh we're so close so very close and the train station being here now really helps with the 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 the, the tourist area. I know what I meant to say. <coughs> Although, how are our buses doing? Our buses are heavily, heavily overloaded. But our trams are actually taking people now, which is nice, he says, as he looks at that. And Come on, build up this area, please. We're going to have a very mix of buildings in this area. It's going to be quite a contrast to the rest of the city. city. Uh, where did I extend this area to? I extended it to there, so we could have tourism there as well. Get rid of that sort of area and just... I'm going to get rid of these houses along the front and fill it with tourism. Just like that. Why not? Uh, those are dead apparently for some reason let's put a, let's put some offices in there because we do seem shops don't seem to be doing very well in our city at the moment it's not like you can have a town center really because the shops just you you don't get many shops it doesn't cope with it uh, we've got derelict oh what's going on over here okay that's I'm slowly disowning this this oh, dezoning dezoning this area um so we can have a bit of a play around so we're not sort of got a massive industry area we can break it up like we did here in our undesirable living area which is actually looking quite nice with these little houses uh, if we ignore the fact it's in between two industrial zones that's fine um what's derelict over here you so we could actually delete you like so our um, bakery has always had issues it's never done very well we need another farm but we don't have that luxury of space at the moment we have pretty much filled up everything we can here although we own this block here actually we could put some farm oh why don't i put farm in there hmm that makes perfect sense in the next episode, we're going to put some farming areas and uh, probably a little village over this way. I, I do think this is too much of a straight line here. We could just fill in this area with some housing and farming along there. Yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to work our way up here now that the city is filled up properly. Uh, that's our next plan of action. If you've enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It does help the channel. And until next time, I'll see you again.